covering since morning today and this is some input coming in on the India Canada standoff wherein the premier of British Columbia David Ebby has now said that CSIS briefed him and the prime minister briefed him but all of it was an open source information with nothing specific on the evidence part this is a very crucial piece of information that is coming in uh, this is what da David Ebby had to say let's have a look Uh, the only briefings uh, that I've been able to receive from CSIS are what are called open information briefings or open source uh, briefings, which is information that's available to the public uh, uh, doing an internet search, uh, which I find frustrating. And, um, and so uh, I can be transparent about that information that I've received. Uh, in terms of the specific incident in Surrey, I was uh, uh, contacted uh, by the Prime Minister. He briefed me uh, about what he was going to say in the Parliament, which he then went on and said. Uh, he offered to me uh, a briefing from CSIS, which, of course, I said, yes, I would like that. We arranged it. We got a briefing from the director, uh, which uh, was, as I say, open source information. Uh, and, then, uh, and then that was it. I expressed my frustration uh, in the meeting with the CSIS director about uh, our inability to get more concrete information about this kind of thing. Uh, and, uh, and I have articulated that uh, to the federal government. I understand there may need to be reform around the act that governs CSIS in order for them to be able to share this information. If that's what's required, let's make it happen. Uh, because the only way that we're going to make traction on this uh, is, uh, is by the federal government trusting the provincial government with information and being able to uh, act on it in our local communities. So that was what David Abbey had to say and right now we have Siddhant Mishra joining us on the broadcast to take us uh, into a deeper dive as to what exactly uh, David Abbey said. Uh, Siddhant, a very good morning to you. Well, uh, what we are learning now is the British, uh, the Premier of the British Columbia coming out and saying that this information that had come in was from an open source. That only uh, reduces uh, the credibility of this information and how do we see this playing out because as far as we can see right now, the Prime Minister of Canada still hasn't been able to uh, present any strong evidence on the allegations that have been made and now De David Ebby coming in and making this comment, where does it put Canada now? Look, uh, you know, except uh, except the uh, the politicians in Canada, those who are inclined towards uh, uh, towards uh, Khalistani groups, only they are making commentary in favor of Justin Trudeau. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, otherwise the other politicians in Canada, those who are the office bearers, also uh, are you know perhaps questioning his position and the stand that he has taken. Now, David Eby, who happens to be the premier of the British Columbia, now British Columbia is the same place where uh, Hadi Singh Najjar was, was killed, was shot down. So uh, right before making his statement in the House, Prime Minister Trudeau called him and informed him about his position. And he said that he has credible evidence. Now, when he said that, uh, when, when uh, Premier said that, I want briefing from CSIS. CSIS is, is, is an intelligence agency of Canada. Now, uh, there was a CSIS briefing also for, British, uh, for Premier of British Columbia. But now when he's making statement in public, it looks like that he wasn't satisfied at all because whatever uh, information which CSIS shared or perhaps Justin Trudeau uh, told him uh, is an open source information, is easily available on internet. So there was nothing specific regarding uh, the killing. There was nothing, um, um, you know, uh, nothing uh, which which uh, which is of a, of a great concern I was shared uh, to him. And that is perhaps what he said in front of media also that it was an open source information and I'm frustrated. Right. He's saying that he's frustrated on the position that his government, the Trudeau government is taking and, and saying that, uh, that uh, India is involved in the killing of Nidja. So it's a big setback and perhaps uh, exposes uh, the hypocrisy of uh, Justin Trudeau once again that, you know, just uh, for the sake of his political benefits, he's doing all this.